Hello and welcome back to Budget with Becca. I am filming this today on a different angle than I normally do. I'm filming this actually quite late. It's almost 8.30 um, and I normally finish film my videos during the day. Um, so I have no natural light today. So I'm trying to just do a different camera angle so that you can see everything and it's not too bad of a glare. But today we are doing a cash stuffing. I recently decided that I'm gonna switch over to bi-weekly cash stuffings to weekly cash stuffings just for my wallet to have quick changeover and to restuff and keep me motivated on my budget and my goals. So before we jump into the cash stuffing, I just wanted to say when I was out going to the bank, I decided to stop at a dollar store near where I live and I found these really adorable money boxes and I'm sorry if you hear my cat she just decided to come in and and so you might hear her bell but I just found these really cute money boxes they open at the back so it's not like a piggy bank where you have to kind of break out they're easy to get the cash so I'm trying to think of what I want to use them for maybe I'll do them in my coins for next year or maybe I'll do like a savings challenge in here but that's what I'm thinking so here are those two boxes but let's just jump right into the cash stuffing so I at the before I went out just now I had actually saved quite a bit in my wallet I hadn't done a lot of spending but for this week actually just from today I did spend a little bit I had to go out for dinner and um, just do some shopping again sorry if you heard that that's my cat so let's just dive into taking out my envelopes for the past to for past week sorry i'm not used to saying that so what i have left in my spending wallet again like i said i just went to the dollar store so i had to use that money but oh from 75 dollars per week i ended up with 20 30 40 50 55 so i've only spent 20 bucks out of there for spending so spending will be emptied and groceries will be empty or food so food also has 40 bucks so this is amazing i've saved so much money these two weeks that is going towards my savings challenge so that cash i'm just going to put to the side actually maybe i'll put to the back because that'll be stuffing my um 50 envelope challenge and then for beauty beauty I still have money left over I just went to go get my nails done and I've decided to do a hair appointment as well this weekend so I'm going to be stuffing a little bit of cash to my beauty envelope but there we go those are the three envelopes in my wallet unstuffed beauty gets rolled over because most of the time it does get spent and I don't have any coins really I think I have maybe 10 cents yeah normally I have quite a bit but I only have this um, today just because again a week I didn't do a lot of spending so I didn't have a lot of change left over so that's added to my coin jar and then let's get into stuffing my wallet is all we're stuffing today I'm actually just lost where's my um, sheet here so I'm kind of all over the place. Normally, I am more prepared than I am for this video, but I kind of am doing it later than I wanted to. So for cash stuffing, this is how I kind of just broke it down. Um, I'm doing this a day early, actually, just because tomorrow is extremely busy for me and I won't be getting home till late. So spending gets 75, food gets 75, beauty, I'm adding 40. That's not in my main budget, but last week I drove to the big city near my house, near where I live, and my mom, I drove my mom and some other um, friends and they all chipped in for gas so they actually covered my gas for that so I used some of my money that I would be putting towards gas towards beauty so I just kind of reallocated it for my savings challenge is 275 so that's what I'll explain and here is how I broke it down so let us get the money from my wallet right in the back here there we go. So there should be 56s. So 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Great. 720s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then the rest are all 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, am I missing a 5? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. There we go. 25. So let us get into the stuffing. So for my groceries and spending. So spending is getting a 50, a 20, and a 25, and that's $75 for spending. Last time I didn't do it a 50, so I wanted to try a 50 and see if I like that or just all 20s. 
So there is 75 for spending. Oh, I am also really loving these envelopes, even though they get stuck sometimes. Um, I'm excited for my new order of other envelopes to come in for my wallet, because I like the divider envelope style. I was actually looking at a Moterm planner to kind of do the wallet style that everybody's doing, but I just found that I like my cash long like this, and I like the versatility of being able to put this into like any everyday wallet, because I have a few wallets in this style, so I thought I would do that than just like the binder system wallets. Okay, so for groceries, I am doing 75 as well, so we're going to do 320s, 1, 2, 3, and three fives. One, two, three. There we go. So that is 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. And that is going into groceries. And then last is a beauty. Beauty has, I think, 45 left over. 20, yep, 45. And we're gonna add another 40. So that should cover. I should have leftover actually from my hair appointment, but I just wanted to be safe and sorry, and it's always good to have the, the rollover for future. So there we go. That is my envelopes stuffed. I'm actually gonna leave that there. Okay, so, sorry, I just got distracted. We're gonna leave that there and then we're gonna move on to my savings challenge. So this I am going to be doing for the month of October. I mentioned in my last video that I'm thinking I'm gonna be more motivated with monthly savings challenges than like something year long. I know a lot of people like year long challenges, but for me, I like the quick feedback and then the money can just go right into the bank um, right after and it makes me feel safe. So I'm trying a thousand dollar savings challenge this month and there's a few reasons I got some money back from the government this month. Um, I also just uh, budgeted to make sure this challenge was in my budget. And so um, I know I can save this money and put it to the side. So what I've done is I'm just going to tally up all of the one column and I'm going to do that per week. So that's four weeks, one, two, three, four. So we'll just add up here and then see how much money that will be. So 15 plus 20. Oh, my goodness, let me start that again. 15 plus 55 plus 25 plus 35 plus 45 plus 35 plus 65 equals 275. And that's what I budgeted. So for the savings challenge, I decided to do five fives. One, two, three, four, five. So that's 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 120, and one. Five, and that should be all the money that I took out from the bank. I will color these off camera, but I'm just gonna color the one um, column, and then I will be moving on to the next part of this challenge next week. So we're just gonna put that in here. And I just found these challenges, I kind of just off of Pinterest, and so I just screenshotted them and took it, um, but I know there are so many challenges out there, and I think this is actually a free one. Um, so I just use that. So there we go. So that's the challenge. And then the rest of my envelopes are ready to be stuffed next week. And the last part of this video is going to be stuffing my hundred envelope challenge. So this is all determined by how much I've saved over the last week. So for this time, this last week, I've saved 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So I will be coloring in, let's see. What number should we do for 95? Hmm, so these are all up to fives. These are all tens. These are all 15s. These are all 30s. So maybe I'll do some in the middle because I haven't done any in the middle yet. So what if I do two 30s, so 31, and 30, and how much does that leave me left with? And I'll do, and maybe I'll do the rest in the, a 15, and then tens, because let's get some of these uh, stuffed. So I'm gonna do, so backwards, let me work backwards here. So I'll do a 30. Oh, sorry, you can't see. Here are all my envelopes here. 25, 26. I should probably have these pre- pulled and I will do that next time just so it's not too much here on video 
30 and I'm gonna do 30 and 31 I think I decided so let's stuff that so that is 30 I'm really hoping that I can save or finish this 50 envelope challenge by the end of the year and then this is the other 30 and then I'm kind of deciding, depending on how much I save, because I haven't done the math, because this is not an accurate challenge, it's all rounded up, because we don't have dollar bills here in Canada. So I'm thinking of just putting it towards maybe my month ahead fund that I, my month ahead, sorry, fund that I'm thinking of. And then I'm gonna do a 20 is what I decided, I think. Oh no, that doesn't make sense. All my 20s are colored in. So maybe I'm gonna have to do a 35 that's okay a 35 might be our best bet because that's oh no I was gonna do three separate two separate tens yeah now I figured it out okay so we're gonna do a 10 oh, I'm too far ahead 13, 12 we're gonna do 11 and 10 Oh my goodness, what's happening here? There we go. Sorry, I was doing that off camera. 11 and a 10. And then the last one will be a 15. I'll do 13. Kind of perfect. All right, and I will color these off camera but I didn't wanna make this video too long. So thank you so much for watching. And next week will be another cash stuffing with my sinking fund. So I'll see you next time. Bye.